What better way to start off Halloween than with a sag nut? Let's talk about some zombies. Looks like next April we'll be getting a sequel to last year's Dead Island. More specifically, April 23rd in the US and the 26th in Europe. The game will be called Dead Island Riptide and will take place on a different island but with the same survivors. Now if you are interested in seeing a new face, they've got you covered there. There will be one new playable character as of now. But you know what? Soinki and I were talking and the one thing we really wanted to see from this game was maybe some customizable characters, a create your own character feature. That's something that would have made this game great. But maybe we'll see it in the future, you know, most likely not. Even still, I did enjoy the first game. It, it was different, but I liked it. If you pre-order the game now, you will get a special edition version of the game, so that's cool. In fact, um, I'm gonna go do that now. No, no, seriously, I'm gonna do that now. I'll see you guys later. Assassin's Creed 3 released yesterday, and the game is awesome so far. I've personally played mostly multiplayer to this point, and I noticed there was already a lot of DLC available, so I figured I'd check it out. The DLC contains things you'd expect, like a season pass to all the future store DLC, but also available are two multiplayer packs called the Appearance Pack and the Gameplay Pack. The Appearance Pack unlocks all of the customization elements in the game for multiplayer, which definitely seems like a legitimate thing to allow people to purchase. Then we have the Gameplay Pack, which, quote, grants immediately unlock access to all gameplay elements disregarding your current level. This pack contains all sets, abilities, streaks, and bonuses. What? You have to be kidding me. So basically anyone who doesn't have the money or who, like me, would much rather unlock all the abilities is going to immediately be at a disadvantage against people who want to pay to win. The fact that this DLC exists is a huge mistake and one that completely undercuts the value of leveling up in the first place. I can understand the want to balance the game so that people that have played longer don't have an advantage, but if that's all you wanted to do to balance the game, then simply create level brackets in your matchmaking system. Shame on you, Ubisoft. Shame on you. <laughs> Happy Halloween, gamers. Raise your hand if you like survival horror. Well, I can't actually see you, but I'm going to assume that a lot of you have your hand raised. And many of you might feel like some of your favorite survival horror franchises have become more action-oriented games lately, but there's still hope for true survival horror fans. If you played the original Amnesia, you know it was some of the most intense survival horror we've seen in a long time. And now Amnesia 2, A Machine for Pigs, has released a new trailer just in time for Halloween, and it looks like it will follow closely in the footsteps of the original. Lots of dimly lit areas and lanterns, no big action sequences or annoying AI partners, just good old fashioned creepy settings and puzzles. There's also a mysterious message at the end that says the swine will rise. Not sure what that means, maybe some kind of horrifying pig monsters are in store for us. Anyway, could this be what survival horror fans have been waiting for? The game is set to come out sometime in early 2013, and you can check out the full trailer by clicking here. So be sure to let us know what you think about it in the comments. That's all for this week's Sagnut, but be sure to check back for more great video game content.